the like the the scenery behind us just just <laughs> beautiful. Oh, and we're starting into it. We've got a uh, new plane Falco, uh, Sharpen, Pip, Squeak uh, playing the, both of their normal characters. Um, and now I am uh, doubting myself from what I said earlier. Maybe it was Noon on the Falco the entire time, and I just forgot. No, that's uh, but it's fine, because Monkey uh, Monkey is memorable. So I wonder if uh, Noon and Risk have team before, because they are from the same country. Um, they both play weird characters, and I know that uh, weird characters normally like to play with each other, although uh, that might not be the case here with Noon playing uh, Falco, because I assume that he's playing Falco just because... He has a pocket Falco and is really good for doubles. Really I love I love the slap, like that was the mosquito. <laughs> I love that. It's just and I I think big slap. Noon and Risk are trying to. Uh, it seems like they're trying to stick a little bit together and play a little bit more like doubles like. Um, right now I haven't seen too much teamwork necessarily from Sharp and Pipsqueak, although they're both just uh, really good players, so maybe they don't necessarily need it. Mm. Um, oh, but they've got the, the two separated right now, and, and and like I said, whenever... You got the back throw there. A little, you, you, the communication definitely, you know, that that's a that's a classic. You just, you tell your teammate back throw, and then they just, a bit, a bit too late, they managed to match out. For that, so. Yeah, but happens, happens. if you if you team with someone enough times, the that that call will be automatic, and yeah. you won't even need to say it anymore. It'll be uh, instinctual. Mm -hmm. and, ooh, good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Grab, good short and cover. Doing the short, yeah. knowing it's there. Noon. Yeah, it's Noon. a you don't see uh, players cover shortens very often, um, and Noon having the uh, cognition for that is it's real impressive to see. Yeah, absolutely. It's. Uh, Wow! No! <laughs> Risk uh, accidentally threading the needle with his uh, back air, but incredible dunk from uh, Noon, but unable to recover. Ah, uh, yeah. Risk going for the uh, risky edge guard and <laughs> gets punished. Uh, yeah, it's uh, if you if you go go up against Peach there and try to. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait yeah. That, no, that'll happen. Maybe trying to edge cancel. We'll we'll just go with that. Uh, you know that that could have been really cool with like an edge cancel, funny turnaround kind of back air, sort of really cool. Um, you know, if, if you're if you're in that position, it's a two v one. You got to go for funny, cool things. Because if that worked, it would have been amazing. Yeah, that would have. You know, maybe maybe trying to side B into the turnip that wasn't coming or something. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Truly. So I'm wondering if. The game plan from Pips Week and Chirp is to turn it into two, two, uh, two one v ones. Um, maybe that's how they're most comfortable playing doubles, and if that's how they're getting most of their uh, their wins, then I mean that makes sense to sort of do that. But yeah. Um, but it's sort of hard for me to tell if that's their game plan or if uh, Risk and Noon aren't playing as close together as uh, they could. Mm. Yeah, it's a DK against Fox is one of those where if you get the grab and you get some funny uppers, uh, you can absolutely just destroy him. So if you're if you're playing too close together against Peach and stuff, you might not be able to get the most out of the DK. And of course, Falco there can still control space. Oh my and stuff. God! Oh. Pip squeak. This is the counter shine. That was really silly. Um, I'm. Yeah, so they they don't want to play like super super close, but they're very far away from each other, right? Yeah, now, which yeah. is like the the main thing I'm noticing, and um, they're not really sort of hitting each other, uh, or like their opponents back to each other for combos and stuff. Yeah, you, um, that's that's so unfortunate for Risk. You gotta hit that edge guard against mm -hmm. against a fox, and it's just like if, if you don't, it's it's the yeah, it's 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 rough. It's rough. Mm -hmm. It's rough. Ah, uh, Pipsqueak just gaming. Yeah, Pipsqueak just being a top player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like like Noon and Risk, they're playing pretty good, but Sharp and Pipsqueak, they're gaming. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's it, that's that's the difference we're dealing with here. Uh, I, I think that if if Noon and Risk could play a little bit closer together, 
they could really actually do some serious damage here because it looks like that they have like the cognition to, to have a really good game plan. But um, I feel like they're just staying a little bit too far away from each other. Absolutely. Uh, most yeah. times. I do, I do like, since uh, if you have a Falco as your teammate, you can actually go for grabs more often. So Falco's grab normally is kind of bad. Uh, but if you if you get it in teams against with a big monkey, you can get some nice combos. And same same thing with DK grab. It's just very oh. a very good grab. So you can absolutely play closer together. And oh, oh, and they just, oh did they, they just wait? They, what happened? So they did an amazing two v one versus Pipsqueak uh, on the platform on the left side. Whoa! Uh, they sort of tossed them back and forth while uh, Sharp was recovering, I believe. Um, and then once uh, he was out of the way, they were able to two v one Sharp fairly convincingly um, and I love the taunt it was from great. Noon there uh, Risk just gets a grab and Noon is just taunting it's great it's great really truly Ooh, um, okay. I'm I'm I liking this distance where they are from each other right now this seems really good for Ooh, green team I like wait wait they're they're like playing actually better like just straight up yeah. Uh, they, oh, they're, they're this is here. great. This, this is great. This is great. I, I think they're figuring out what they need to do. They're, they're playing a little bit closer together, trying to keep hitboxes out at the same time, pass them uh, back and forth. Um, they're and and they're, they're giving up on the opponents that is not actively aggressing them so that they can run towards the other yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, person and try to, to bully them, which, which is a really good thing to be aware of. Because uh, it basically gives you time to do a two v one for a bit, yeah. and this this is like this is a dreamland moment kind of thing. Because if you have Peach and doubles in dreamland, like Peach is not going to die super early, but it takes her ten years to get back to the stage. Mm -hmm. So if you get one hit off on Peach, it's like basically the same as dying, and you have a two v one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a it's a funny dreamland moment, which sharp uh, down holding gaming right now, uh, working really well. Uh, that is something in doubles you have to uh, be aware of. Sometimes you'll just run in. Uh, you won't play as patient, um, and you won't be as cognizant about uh, potential hitboxes because of all the chaos. And because of that, Peach can just sort of throw out down smashes and, and really screw up your percentage there. Yeah, that was that was that might have been the first time I've seen a DK forward air, but the percentage is too high that they couldn't have comboed it. <laughs> that was that that was very funny. Oh, unfortunately, didn't get reversed on the hit. Uh, Noon getting sent out, uh, but sort of turning this into a situation that could be potentially good for them. They need to cover some serious ground here. Um, it is possible. Uh, Risk was able to distract Blue Team enough for the uh, for Noon to recover, which is really really good. Um, so Noon still having the stock that uh, he's got is good. Um, hip squeak, trying to uh, shield poke with the drill, and it worked. DK does not have a good uh, shield, unfortunately, and they're gonna need to pull out for a miracle here. Yeah. Yeah. As much as uh, blue team's playing just absolutely great now, great right now, I love the I love the vibes from the Netherlands here. It's just they are having so much fun. They um. I really liked the start of this game and the end of last game. Yeah, they started to figure out what they needed to do, and seeing that come up with it was really satisfying. Even though um, uh, it's now two v one uh, or two to one, uh, I think that after those moments, they can sort of pull together something that's gonna be able to t let them take this set. It'll be hard, but I I think they they seriously have what it takes. Yeah, they they absolutely do. They they have some really good, uh, just like bursts of energy and just cool moments. But of course, you know, sometimes you just get better players. So we'll we'll see what happens. Um, but I I do love the I do love the vibes that's coming out from the Netherlands here. Mm -hmm. it's great. Oh, uh, Pip Squeak and Sharp is doing some really great team comboing there. Uh, looking less like two one v ones and like a team set there. Uh, and that's the kind of that's the kind of gameplay I want to see. Um, lots of down smashes coming from Sharp, but they're working. A lot of times you'll see people holding down in uh, teams because they want to act out of stuff as fast as possible, and because of that, it's uh, they'll get hard punished on down smash. Hmm. 
No, Pip Squeak with a miss input there. They're coming in from. Uh... <laughs> the beach is just. It's just... Yeah, they they need. They they they're kind of struggling. Uh, Team Netherlands kind of struggling uh, getting those combos off. I, I see a lot of the time like. Uh, Risk gets a nice grab, but then you know gets lasered by Noon accidentally, or there's just Peach hitbox. They, they got the stuff almost is going, but then it's not. And I'm not too sure about the FD pick. Yeah, um, FD might have messed with that. It's it seems a little bit hard to to not use platforms as his team. Oh no. Yeah, they might have been a little worried about the Peach down smashes on the platforms. They they really did uh, do a lot of damage in that. Uh, game, but maybe FD they're, they're still getting hit by the yeah. down smashes, though, so that wasn't the issue. All right, we got a save here from um, from Risk. Uh, Sharp is trying to cover between them, uh, but Risk uh, doing some work here. And that's the that's another situation I was talking about that's not as safe in doubles is grabbing and throwing because you have the other opponent to worry about. And no. Aww, it tries to go for the save with the up B, but a little too late on the reactions. And that is going to be the set for Sharp and Pipsqueak. Wow. Just just better player. Uh, yeah. Uh, better Sharp, player. They better player, but I will say that last game, we saw some really good teamwork from uh, Sharp and Pipsqueak. True. Uh, true. They, they did have some cool team combos at the start there and then kind of took it from there. 